Oh, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, ah, oh, that's it, that's it, that's it. Yes, yes, yes. Eat my dust, Crash Bandicoot. Due to the huge popularity of the Crash Bandicoot Warp game, Crash had solidified his video game legacy. In many gamers' eyes, this was the game that finally pushed Mario off the top of the mountain. Crash was the top dog in video games, ironic seeing as he was the creation of his two enemies, Sonic and Mario. So like Mario and Sonic, Crash got a spin-off game as well. His first spin-off game was released one year after the release of Warped and it was entitled Crash Team Racing. If you couldn't guess, it involved racing cars. Now at face value, this game doesn't look anything special. In fact, it looks like a complete ripoff of a Mario Kart, just swapping the content from Mario related stuff to Crash Bandicoot related stuff. The tracks were wacky and you could even get weapons which did similar things to its Nintendo counterpart. Due to this, a lot of gamers completely ignored this game, and yes, it unfortunately didn't do as well as Warped. But let's ignore the fact that it's an obvious ripoff and focus on the game itself. Well, what's the story? Well, click on New Adventure and you'll be taken to the character select screen. Maybe you'll be expecting a cutscene after this to inform you what's going on. But no. You go straight to the racing cup where you can select your races. For some reason, Naughty Dog decided to go back to his old Crash Bandicoot one ways and forces you to get your backstory in two ways. The first is to read the game manual, or you could sit at the menu screen for a couple of seconds. However, the difference between this and Crash 1 is that, to me, you don't need a backstory to understand what's going on. In fact, the game's so thin you don't even care the fact that there's a story going on. But if you are interested in what's going on, then here goes. Well, I, Nitrous Oxide, I'm the fastest racer in the galaxy. I travel the stars looking for creatures to test my skills. It's a little game I call Survival of the Fastest. Here's the way we play. I challenge the best driver of your world to a race for the planet. If your driver wins, I'll leave your miserable little rock alone. But if I win, I'll turn your entire globe into a concrete parking lot and make you my slaves. <laughs> Get ready to race for the fate of your planet. What follows is many races and the eventual humiliation of Oxide by your chosen character. The game goes much further beyond this though. Many Crash trademarks fit back into this game. Crystals make an appearance, but now they are more of a side collectible. You can also challenge for gems, which must be won in a tournament style series of races which can unlock new playable characters. Relics even show up, which takes a much more important role in this game than they ever have before. Outside this though, there is the traditional racing multiplayer game. This is without a doubt probably the most fun multiplayer game I've ever played in my entire life. Seriously, get a few beers in, round up a couple of friends and start your own Crash Team Racing tournament. I promise you, it will be a fun night. Even if you don't have friends, there's stuff you can do outside of Adventure Mode by yourself. You can try and beat both Troopies and Oxide's Ghosts in every race in the game in Time Trial Mode, or you can challenge your way through the game's custom-made tournament modes which progressively get harder. Yes, the game may be considered a Mario Kart ripoff, but it's a ripoff we're proud to have on the PlayStation as I consider it one of the finest games ever created, and to me, this is one of the few games in existence that can be considered perfect. It's just a blast to play from start to end. The AI is surprisingly intelligent, but not difficult, and those who have found the previous games too much of a struggle will really enjoy the looseness of this game. Some may say that's a bad thing because it makes it too easy, but it's not too easy at all. It can still give anybody a challenge, even on their best day. So I give Crash Team Racing a rating of 10 out of 10, buy it off the PlayStation Network, find it cheap on eBay, get your hands on it in any legal way possible. Even if you've never played a Crash game, or hell, a PlayStation 1 game, try and play this some way you can, I guarantee you'll enjoy every single minute of this masterpiece. Little did we know that this would be the last decent Crash game for a long time. A long time.